cool, isn't it? Still collecting. So the collects more as it's in direct light. produce on this you can power a cell phone or an iPod you know charge it up when it's drained instead of plugging it into your computer or your wall you can actually use the Sun so you don't have to be at home you can sit out with your bag in the park or with this in the park and charge your cell phone so what we're trying to do here is to make nanotechnology accessible for people of all ages it's a very tiny area of research and we're trying to make it really big and we have helping us here uh, students who are actually doing nanotechnology research and they're putting a human face on the research quantum dots quantum nanocrystals made by QD vision they take light that is of a high energy lower wavelength and convert them into this brilliant beautiful colored light and all the way from blue to red by changing the size of the nanocrystals from small to big. Beautiful blue colored light all the way to red colored light by making these nanocrystals by adjusting the These are microchips with quantum dots in them that are being powered by electricity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pinch it. I want you to give that a nice twist, okay? Just give it a good twist. Good job, good job. All right, hold it right there, and I'll twist this end as well. What are you doing? And then I'll put them there? right together. All right, look at that. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's nice. This is nice. I feel that. There you go. 
party. Great. Well, <clears throat> I think th this is very uh, essential to getting more young people interested in science and technology. Uh, mainly because uh, science, the way it's presented in schools, it's, it's, it's done very well, but the, the kids do not see the full spectrum of what's available out there, and they don't see the exciting part of science. And this is what these exhibits actually are trying to do. Uh, they, uh, they, they see what the possibilities are, they see how fun it is, and hopefully we, they will uh, pursue a, a career in science or pursue their studies in science.